Hey folks, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here coming to you from the Disgruntled Mechanic Garage. Today what we have is we have a park assist sensor problem. So when you put it into gear, there we go. We get the service parking assist on the dash. So we'll get set up here and we'll do a quick, quick code scan to see if it shows up on the scanner and uh, let's go and do that so we'll go into system select and we'll scroll through and we will get to the uh, parking assist control module we'll go on that so let's read fault code let's display the trouble code and it says parking assist front left middle circus circuit incorrect component installed well I don't think it's the incorrect component I pretty much know what happened to this because I did it but um, <laughs> anyhow we have the code now what I'm gonna do is there's different sensors out there I'm pretty sure I know which this one is but with the help of the U scope and one of the attachments for the U scope you can figure out which one it is uh, by an, an ultrasonic wave that it will catch. I think I'm saying that right. I just fix the stuff. I don't know the ter technical terms of everything. So what we're going to do, actually I did do, is we're going to put the car into service mode. And with it in service mode, I can safely put it in gear pretty much but I still took all precautions I have the parking brake on and for another project I already have it up on jack stands and blocked so we won't have the car move when we put it into gear but we have to put it into gear to check the park assist sensors so what we'll do try to get this in the picture and now we'll check a good park sensor now there you can see what a good park sensor is now right next to it over here and this is sort of a dead giveaway uh, when I went to check it but this one when you put the scope there there's no wave come back over here and you got the wave let me shut the car off we'll do that and then I'll come in and I'll come back and I'll show you the settings I used and what I used here. The way we got it set up is 0.2 volts and 200 milliseconds and then 200 millivolts to give us the scale we want to be able to read it. So then what I had to buy was I had to buy this little adapter to be able to plug in to the U-scope uh, it's on their page and then what I bought was the ultrasonic park sensor tester so and that's on their site I can put numbers down below in the description for these items so that um, in case you want to get them you can order them so that's just showing another use of the AES wave U-scope uh, I like using this little thing. It's neat learning things with it. You know, you got to buy some extra stuff once in a while, but the basic kit will work for you to do quite a bit of testing. So, once again, this is Mike, the disgruntled mechanic, saying just remember if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks for watching. See ya.